Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Saturday. We got 16 matchups on this MLB slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, turn on those notification bells. And yeah, we'll hop in and here. A busy slate as we start the weekend off, starting with the San Diego Padres versus the Cincinnati Reds. Padres opening up as road favorites at minus 160. The Reds plus 140 with the over under at 11 and a half. Padres coming into this matchup 37 and 45. The Reds 44 and 38. Pitching for the Padres is Michael Walker with an ERA of 2.90. Pitching for the Reds is Brandon Williamson with an ERA of 5.82. Walker, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had zero strikeouts. Been very good on the mound here. Williamson, his last start, he pitched two innings, gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. He's given up three runs in each of his last three starts on the mound. Um, yeah, Reds beating the Padres yesterday 7-5 to five on a three-game winning streak. Padres on a six-game losing streak. They're really struggling 2-8 and eight in their last 10. 1-8 and eight on the road. Yeah, Padres just are not playing good. Reds have so much momentum. And uh, even with a, with a better pitcher on the mound here, um, I really like the Reds. And uh, good plus money. Mm, I'll take Reds plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Boston Red Sox versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto opening up as home favorites at minus 175. Boston plus 145 with the over under at nine. Boston coming into this matchup 41 and 42. Toronto 45 and 38. Pitching for Boston is Carter Crawford with an ERA of 4.01. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Yusai Kikuchi with an ERA of 3.75. Crawford, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had four strikeouts. Kikuchi, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run, had eight strikeouts. Boston beating Toronto yesterday 5-0, to zero, shutting them out, snapping that big losing streak that they were on. They are 5-0 and oh against Toronto. I've been good head-to-head -head against Toronto here. Uh, Crawford's been the better of the two pitchers as of late here. And um, yeah, I think I'll take, I think Boston's a good underdog today. And I'll take the Red Sox plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Minnesota Twins versus the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore opening up as home favorites at minus 140. Minnesota plus 115 with the over under at eight and a half. Minnesota coming into this matchup 41 and 42. Baltimore 48 and 32. Pitching for the Twins is Bailey Ober with an ERA of 2.97. Pitching for the Orioles is Kyle Bradish with an ERA of 3.75. Ober, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had eight strikeouts. Radish, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. Minnesota beating Baltimore eight to one yesterday, a big win for them. And uh, yeah, not a level with what Baltimore did on a three game losing streak right now. Minnesota is 15 and five against Baltimore, 12 and five on the road against Baltimore. Um, I say it's a pretty even uh, pitching matchup here. And uh, I think I'll take the Twins plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Washington Nationals versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies opening up as home favorites at minus 200. Washington plus 170 with the over under at eight and a half. Washington coming into this matchup 33 and 48. The Phillies 43 and 38. Pitching for the Nationals is Mackenzie Gore with an ERA of 3.89. Pitching for the Phillies is Zach Wheeler with an ERA of 3.76. Gore, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up one run, had nine strikeouts. Wheeler, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up five runs, had eight strikeouts. Washington, playing pretty well. I'm five and one in their last six. 
beat the Phillies yesterday two to one. Um, even though they've struggled against the Phillies, they were able to steal a win yesterday. A pretty even pitching matchup. Wheeler coming off a five run game uh, for the Phillies here. And yeah, not in love with paying minus 200 for the Phillies right here. I thought they'd be able to get it done yesterday, and uh, they couldn't. And uh, I'll take the Nationals plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Brewers opening up as road favorites at minus 140. Pittsburgh plus 120 with the over under right eight. Brewers coming into this matchup 43 and 39. The Pirates 39 and 42. Pitching for the Brewers is Corbin Burns with an ERA of 4.10. Pitching for the Pirates is Johan Oviedo with an ERA of 4.06. Burns, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up four runs at three strikeouts. Oviedo, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up one run at six strikeouts. The Brewers losing to the Pirates yesterday, 8-7. to seven. Uh, Pirates on a little four-game winning streak. Pretty even pitching matchup. Burns. Burns has had rough starts on the night. He's given up 14 runs in his last three starts here for the Brewers. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna roll with the Pirates plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Houston Astros versus the Texas Rangers. Rangers opening up as home favorites at minus 130. Houston plus 120 with the over under at eight. Houston coming into this matchup 45 and 37. The Rangers 49 and 33. Pitching for Houston is Hunter Brown with an ERA of 3.62. Pitching for the Rangers is Nathan Eovaldi with an ERA of 2.82. Brown, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Eovaldi, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Houston. On a three-game winning streak, beating the Rangers yesterday 5-3. to three, A nice underdog win for them. Rangers kind of struggling a bit here. 2-5 and five in their last seven. Houston 5-0 and oh on the road against the Rangers. Um, I'd say it's a pretty even pitching matchup. And I think Houston's another good underdog. And I'll take the Astros plus 1.5 on the road. Next matchup, we got the Chicago White Sox versus the Oakland Athletics. White Sox opening up as road favorites at minus 230. Oakland plus 190 with the over under at eight and a half. White Sox coming into this matchup 36 and 48. Oakland 22 and 62. Pitching for the White Sox is Dylan Cease with an ERA of 4.04. Uh, looks like the A's is undecided. I'm looking all over on all the sites, so uh, no info on the A's pitcher. Um, Dylan sees his last start. He pitched six innings, gave up one run, had 10 strikeouts. The White Sox losing to Oakland yesterday, 7-4. to four. Tough loss for the White Sox. Um, yeah, I like Dylan Cease on the mound. He's been pretty solid these last few games. And uh, I think they can bounce back. And um, I'm going to roll with the White Sox on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Miami Marlins versus the Atlanta Braves. Braves opening up as home favorites at minus 160. Miami plus 135 with the over under at 9. Marlins coming into this matchup 48 and 35. The Braves 54 and 27. Pitching for the Marlins is Yuri Perez with an ERA of 1.34. Pitching for the Braves is Charlie Morton with an ERA of 3.81. Perez, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had nine strikeouts, has not given up a run in his last three starts here. Morton, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had seven strikeouts. I mean, yeah, sucked to be been on the Miami side yesterday, losing 16 to four. A tough loss for the Marlins yesterday. Um, Braves playing great, nine and one in their last ten. I mean, they're playing very good. Miami is seven and one on the road. Perez has been so good on the mound here, and uh, 
Ah, it makes Marlon such an intriguing play today with Perez on the mound. But from what I saw yesterday, man, I just don't know if I could trust the Marlins here because um, they really struggled hitting. They just let the Braves hit all day on them. So I think I'm going to take Atlanta at home. Next matchup, we got the San Francisco Giants versus the New York Mets. Mets opening up as home favorites at minus 140. Giants plus 125 with the over under at eight and a half. Giants coming into this matchup 46 and 36. The Mets 36 and 46. Pitching for the Giants is Anthony DeSclafani with an ERA of 4.28. Pitching for the Mets is Justin Verlander with an ERA of 4.11. DeSclafani, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs at three strikeouts. Verlander, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had five strikeouts. Giants beating the Mets yesterday, five to four. A nice comeback win for them. Mets still struggling, two and eight in their last ten. Giants are, you know, eleven and two on the road, five and two straight up against the Mets here. A pretty even pitching matchup, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the Giants plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Cleveland Guardians versus the Chicago Cubs. Cubs opening up as home favorites at minus 140. Cleveland plus 115 with the over under at 8. Cleveland coming into this matchup 39 and 42. The Cubs 38 and 42. Pitching for the Guardians is Tanner Beebe with an ERA of 3.79. Pitching for the Cubs is Marcus Stroman with an ERA of 2.47. BB, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Roman, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. Cleveland uh, losing 10 to 1 yesterday to the Cubs. Great game for the Cubs yesterday, snapping their losing streak that they were on. Pretty even pitching matchup, I'd say. And I uh, love what the Cubs did yesterday. And uh, I'm going to take Chicago at home. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Kansas City Royals. Dodgers opening up as road favorites at minus 230. The Royals plus 190 with the over-under at 9.5. Dodgers coming into this matchup 46-35. The Royals 23-59. Pitching for the Dodgers is Julio Urias with an ERA of 4.39. Pitching for the Royals is Daniel Lynch with an ERA of 3.96. Urias, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up six runs, had one strikeout. Lynch, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had two strikeouts. LA, coming off, uh, coming off a nice win against the Royals yesterday, nine to three, uh, five and one on the road against the Royals, eight and one straight up against the Royals here, and um, yeah, I think I'm gonna roll with the Dodgers on the road. Next matchup, we got the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Seattle Mariners. Rays opening up as road favorites at minus 115. The Mariners, uh, Mariners plus 105 with the over under at seven and a half. Rays coming into this matchup 57 and 28. Seattle 38 and 42. Pitching for the Rays is Tyler Glasnow with an ERA of 4.45. Pitching for Seattle is George Kirby with an ERA of 3.26. Last now, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had 12 strikeouts. Kirby, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. Tampa Bay uh, on a three game winning streak, beating Seattle 15 to four uh, yesterday. A nice one for Tampa Bay. Seattle on a three game losing streak. Uh, one and five in their last six. Tampa Bay six and one straight up against Seattle, where they've been pretty dominant head to head here. Pretty even pitching matchup. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to roll with the Rays on the road. Next matchup, we got the Detroit Tigers versus the Colorado Rockies. Um, looking at the lines here. 
not finding a line on this game let me see i thought i thought all the lines were up for the, for all these games um yeah there are there is no lines on this tigers and rocky game whatsoever anywhere so i'm not too sure what's going on with the rockies and tigers uh maybe that game's not getting played i have no idea so this will just be a question mark matchup Next matchup, we got the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Los Angeles Angels. Angels opening up as home favorites at minus 120. Arizona plus 100 with the over under at 10. Arizona coming into this matchup 49 and 34. Angels 44 and 40. Pitching for Arizona is Ryan Nelson with an ERA of 4.97. Pitching for the Angels is Tyler Anderson with an ERA of 5.54. Nelson, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run at six strikeouts. Anderson, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs at nine strikeouts. Arizona beating LA 6-2 to two yesterday, nice win for them. LA on a three-game losing streak. And yeah, Arizona 4-2 and two on the road against LA. Pretty even pitching matchup, and I think they're another good underdog today. And I'll take Arizona plus one and a half on the road. Then the last matchup, we got a doubleheader between the New York Yankees versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, game one, Cardinals opening up as home favorites at minus 115. Yankees plus 105 with the over-under at 9. Yankees coming into this matchup 45-36. and 36. The Cardinals 33-47. and 47. Pitching for the Yankees is Luis Severino with an ERA of 5.25. Pitching for the Cardinals is Jack Flaherty with an ERA of 4.95. Severino, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs, had four strikeouts. Flaherty, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up six runs, had five strikeouts. The Yankees, coming off back-to-back uh, -back Oakland wins. St. Louis coming off a couple bad Houston losses here. And uh, yeah, getting Yankees as an underdog, pretty good value, I think. It's a pretty even pitching matchup. Flaherty coming off back-to-back six-run games here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take Yankees plus one and a half on the road in game one. And then game two, I really can't find any info on game two. I'll check one more time, see if I can find anything. Uh, there's no lines on game two. It is a late game. Um... Yeah, I don't have any lines. The only info I do have is that pitching for the Cardinals is Matthew Laborator with an ERA of 5.60. His last start, he pitched two innings. Gave up zero runs, had three strikeouts. And uh, yeah, with no lines, game two is just going to be a question mark. So if you want to bet on game two, wait till those lines get out later today. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.